The Onondaga County Waste Energy Facility converts our community's trash into enough electricity to power 15% of the households in our county. The process begins when garbage haulers deliver trash to the facility's tipping floor. Here, a front-end loader pushes the trash into the refuse pit. The pit begins 25 feet below floor level, and trash can be stacked another 50 feet high, so the pit can store three days' worth of trash. Crane operators maneuver claws or grapples to grab trash using joysticks. Each grapple holds about three tons of trash. Operators scoop up trash and mix it to create a uniform blend. Then, they drop it into feed chutes that lead to the boiler. In the control room, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, operators monitor boiler conditions, steam, and electricity production, and environmental data through the Continuous Emissions Monitoring System. Temperatures in the boiler exceed 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. The burning trash heats tubes of water in the boiler's walls and converts the water to steam. The steam propels turbine blades, which turn an electromagnet in the generator, shown here. This produces electricity. The facility's air pollution control system neutralizes acid gases, controls nitrogen oxide and mercury emissions, and filters out tiny particulate matter not visible to the human eye. The combustion process reduces trash to an inert ash that is 10% of the original trash volume. Metal recovery systems remove about 9,000 tons of ferrous and non-ferrous metals from the ash for recycling. The ash is transported to an out-of-county landfill where it is used in place of natural resources like soil or shale to cover the landfill each day. For more than 20 years, the facility has operated within strict emission limits set by the New York State DEC and US EPA all while producing enough electricity to power 30,000 homes.